I had to summarize John Luro, a good man in the wrong place at the wrong time. And it destroyed him. At about 7.30 this morning, the vault carrier Summit Venture crashed into the southern span of the bridge, tearing loose two different sections. They are in the water, another part is dangling, apparently ready to fall, and a car is straddling the gap between the bridge and open space. The bridge is considered an emergency, structurally unsafe. As the collision occurred, several cars and a bus were thrown into the rainy waters of the bay. As they were pulling the bus up and the cars, the, that's when the bodies started uh, floating to the surface. Our first intention was to get to that bus and do what we could to help rescue or recover as many people as properly and respectfully as we could. The Greyhound bus, it was sheared off right at the top, right where the windows connect sheared off. So you, you knew that nobody ever survived that. And you knew no, nobody in the car survived it either. It was hard to leave and come up that second time without finding that child that I thought was still in there. There were a lot of people that were against John Alero. There were a lot of people that would have liked to see him pay the price because we had 35 people, innocent people, that had died because of the incident. He was there. He was uh, the easy one to point the finger at, and that's what people remember. Still today is, oh, he was drunk. When something so terrible happens, uh, the world was not quite as complicated as it is now. And I think that when something terrible happens, or happened then, you went looking for a, an easy explanation. When people don't know who to blame, they try to fix blame themselves. And John Lero was the captain. He was the easy target. He was the one everybody knew about. And so it was easy to say, John Lero is responsible. It's something that he did. 